Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Shanahan. I'm a family practice doctor and I work in beautiful Napa Valley, California. Today I'm going to share with you what I tell my patients about cholesterol pills and how a healthy diet can help you be heart attack free without pills. Right now, the standard of care is for your doctor to give you a cholesterol pill if your cholesterol level is above a certain number. This is not something I believe in anymore because I think there's a much better way to go about it. I think the cholesterol pills have a lot of risks and don't give you the benefits that you expect. I'm not the only one saying this. There's actually a whole bunch of books written by physicians and, and, uh, and PhDs who have compiled a lot of interesting and helpful information to understand why the cholesterol pills are not the way to go for the vast, vast majority of people who want to prevent themselves from getting a heart attack or a stroke. So what I want to go over today is some uh, information on the package insert that's inside most, uh, that's inside all the prescriptions that you'll get. This came from a uh, prescription for a pill called Zocor or Simvastatin, which is a cholesterol, a generic, the generic name is Simvastatin. Um, it's a very common cholesterol lowering medication. And we have here two columns um, of uh, percentages. This is the pill versus placebo because you always have to have a comparison to see how common is a given side effect in the general population not taking the pill. So all of these were determined in the study to be a significant um, difference that all these symptoms were attributable to the pill. Um, so I'm just going to go over some of the ones that are the most common that I see the most, and those are the ones with a difference that's greater than 0.5% between the placebo. So the first one is a cardiovascular side effect called um, developing atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation is a condition where the atria, the small chamber of your heart, does not squeeze normally, it fibrillates. And that can make you feel weak when you are um, trying to exercise, uh, especially if you have a weaker heart. And the most serious thing about the atrial fibrillation is that when that heart chamber does not fully empty with every beat, the blood sits there and can coagulate and clot. And then a little piece of it, that little clotted blood, can fly around through your circulation and lodge anywhere in your body. If it goes to your brain, that's a stroke, and it's often a major stroke. And I have had three patients that this has happened to after developing atrial fibrillation, and they have not fully recovered from their strokes. They had no other risk factors for atrial fibrillation, the being alcohol or lung problems or family history. So it's very likely that it was the uh, medication they were taking to prevent a heart attack or stroke that caused it. Um, and the next thing, that was, um, that was the atrial fibrillation. The next thing I want to talk about is digestive symptoms. Uh, the first one listed here is constipation. Not very serious, but something that's easily misattributed to aging. The second one is gastritis, which is inflammation of the stomach or intestinal system that can actually cause symptoms very similar to a heart attack. You can actually wake up with pain in your chest, squeezing substernal in the middle, in the middle of your night. And if you are worried about heart attacks, and you probably are if you're on a cholesterol pill, you're not going to necessarily think of reaching for that Mylanta before you dial 911 and end up in the emergency room for an all-nighter. And fortunately, if it is gastritis, they'll tell you, okay, all you need to do is take another pill, um, an antacid now. And these antacids that you could be on for your controlling your gastritis symptoms, so you don't wake up in the middle of the night again, have side effects, including a very strange one where they actually, the proton pump inhibitors like Nexium and Prevacid actually change the way the stem cells in your bones mature and instead of becoming bone cells they become fat cells and so you end up with osteoporosis from taking your heartburn pill. That's an example of how starting on one pill is not just starting on a pill, it's an entrance into a whole lifestyle of more and more pills.